how to make our Loom videos look professional. So I'm going to walk you through how we film our Loom videos so that you can make your videos look exactly like ours. So at the moment I'm filming on our normal camera that then is plugged into the laptop. We have an external microphone and I'm filming this on a camera so that you can kind of see behind the scenes of what we do and how it is all recorded. So the two options that you have for Loom is a big window and a small window. So you can minimize it and you can go bigger. That's up to you. You can also go full screen. It's not completely full screen. You'll see there are little edges around the bottom here that aren't completely covered, but at least you can have a big view so that people can connect a little bit more with you while you're talking to camera. And then you just scroll and hover over the bottom of your image and you can change that size. You can grab it and move it around. So if you want to show something on the left hand side or in the bottom right, you can actually move your video around. There's a second option of a smaller circle to make it a little bit smaller if you want to dot it in between everywhere. We like it either on the bottom left or on the bottom right down there. So let's move you over to the left there and I'll talk you through a little bit of behind the scenes of what we are using here and how it all works. So we have our main Sony camera sitting just above our laptop. So the best thing that I've found is get it as close as you can to your laptop screen while still keeping it at eye level. If you can keep it at eye level, it looks a lot better on camera. If it's a little bit off eye level, if you're shooting from too low, you kind of get this shot up your nose, which you don't really want to get. doesn't look so appealing once it comes across on camera. So you want to get it close to eye level as you can. We prop up our laptop so when we do look at our screen and we're scrolling around, we are looking down, but we're not looking completely down. So you're getting the top of our head. You can still kind of get a little bit of eye contact while I'm looking at the screen, scrolling around and showing everyone how to do things. Then the next thing we need to show you is how we connect it into our laptop. So we have a video capture card and these are quite cheap. You can get them off Amazon for 10 or $20. You don't need to spend a lot of money on this. This is a 4K HD video capture card. 1080, we have 1080 capture cards and they are just as good. And then it's just a HDMI cable into whatever cable your camera uses to connect. So you just have to check that. I think ours is a micro USB. You get micro USB, macro USB, you get normal USB, and you get USB-C. So just check um, by searching your camera type and what connection you actually need. And you just get a cable that plugs into that video capture card, and then you get this super crisp, good looking image on your Loom videos. So it looks a little bit more professional. You can see that the background is quite blurry and I'm in focus. If you just use your laptop, the colors aren't so good and the background is really in focus. So you don't really want that. It's going to give you the professional look if you can get that blurry background. We get that by having a low f-stop on our camera. So ours is at f2.8 aperture at the moment. That's the lens. Some lenses only have uh, aperture of 3.5 or 4, that's still okay. As long as you can keep it low, just don't have that set too high. If you have any more questions about that, you want me to go more in depth on the camera settings, just let me know and I can do another video on that. And then we have our audio is a microphone. It's a Boyer microphone. And that is plugged in through a cable into our uh, sound card. This is just a Beringa, Beringa, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'll uh, put a put a link to a similar device. This is doesn't have to be very expensive. And then we've got the mic line going in there from the microphone, and then that just plugs into the computer, and we can select those settings. So the Loom recording stopped there. I just wanted to show you um, how we change the settings for the microphone. If you click on your Loom device, you can then, let me screenshot this so you can see it. So when you start your Loom, it's gonna pop up and you're going to have the video setting and your audio setting. 
and you can change that. So there's no microphone. We've got USB audio, which is plugged in through the USB. And then we've got the MacBook Pro microphone. So you can choose between those two. We like using an external microphone. Audio just comes across a lot cleaner and a lot better than the normal microphone that you have on your laptop. You can use that one on your laptop when you're first starting out. It is okay. Just soundproof the place a bit. So you can see at the back here, we've got these DIY soundproofings and all that really is is a piece of foam in a square piece of wood. And you can just use blankets and pillows to start. So we've got a carpet on the floor so it's not bouncing. We have soundproofed the roof. I'll show you a quick image on that so you can see what it looks like inside of the studio. And that's really where you want to start to make it look professional. The most important thing is the audio and then obviously getting a nice video quality set up so that it looks like you want it to look. If you have any other questions from this, please let me know. I can create another video or I can go more in depth on specific things. Hope this helped and we'll see you in the community.